Welcome back, everyone. The Indigenous Youth Council was formed in February of this year. The New Mexico Indian Affairs Department elected members representing the 23 nations, tribes, and pueblos to engage with the department and help solve issues. And this weekend, they will be hosting an Indigenous Youth Wellness Summit. We're joined this morning by Indigenous Youth Council member Kaylee Wood to find out more details about the council and what the summit will entail. Good morning, Kaylee. Good morning. How are you doing? I, I'm doing well. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So I'm super excited about this event because uh, it's directly involved with the youth. Before we get into the summit, though, tell me about the youth council and what you guys do okay so our youth summit is was founded this early year this february by the new mexico affairs indian affairs department and um the purpose of it is to bring efforts into bringing collaboration with more tribes so like you said we have representation from muscalero apache tribe the hickory apache tribe um navajo and also um the 19 pueblos of new mexico so we're collaborating with Honoring Native Life, and during this time we've been meeting every two weeks into bringing um, a collaborative agenda for this Youth Summit. So the Youth Summit's name is Community Resilience, Nurturing and Protecting Youth Wellness, and this event is going to be June 11th and 12th, open to the ages of 18 and 25. And we're trying to incorporate physical, emotional, spiritual, and well, um, mental wellness components. And it's going to be ho hosted via Zoom. Okay. So, of course, it's going to be hosted virtually since the COVID pandemic is happening and we need to have social distancing purposes. So we're going to have participants across the whole state, so it should be very exciting. I, I love how you guys are really unifying, as you mentioned, 23 groups. Um, and really tackling this uh, as, as a whole group together. Um, are, are you hoping that you guys are going to really gain insight from the different tribes and the different pueblos so that way you could come up with a great collaboration? Yeah, so by the end of the summit, we're going to be compiling all of the ideas that are said from all of our participants, and we're going to uh, craft up rec recommendations so that we can provide those to a bunch of the New Mexico tribal leaders as well as Governor um, Michelle Lujan Grisham. Perfect, okay. So tell me, why do you think the summit's so important? Um, I think the summit is important in order to bring awareness, like I said, to the topic of um, mental health. And as well as um, we did conduct a survey, which um, it was sent nationally to Native youth and the main uh, identifying topic that came out was mental health. Mm -hmm. So, and then that was one thing that I think is important, especially through the pandemic and going through all of the losses that many communities face, not just only indigenous people, but Absolutely. communities in general. So I think that'll be a good chance to hear different native voices and what they have to come up with to have a collaborative effort, like you said, to Absolutely. take back. Absolutely. You know, mental health is right at the forefront right now, especially with the pandemic, as you mentioned. So many people are now talking about it. I love that you guys are getting the youth involved in the mental health discussion, because too often I feel the youth doesn't get a voice. Yeah. And this time you guys really are. Okay, so, so tell me, how can people attend the virtual summit? Okay, so all of the participants are required to register for the event. So you can register for it at the New Mexico Indian Affairs website under the Youth Council participant page, or resource page, sorry. And all of the participants are gonna, re, um, are gonna be getting a little package. So, and then we're gonna also be giving back like things like coloring books and like notebooks, journals, or also herb bundles to also incorporate the spiritual aspect I of indigenous it. people. I love it. And of course, we're gonna have more details for you on our website, always on krqe.com. Um, Kaylee Wood, once again, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Yeah, thank you so much. It's, uh, great stuff you guys are working on. All right.